best technical innovation is going to be our next category. And, and I'm going to have a reef share a few words. Okay, David is the next finalist in this award is for this new award that we're talking about. Now, these are for technological innovations. We talked about there are many engineers working in the research park, there are chemists, there are, are mechanical engineers we just heard from, and there are people who are making biological discoveries. So it could be any of those things. And the pe best technological technical innovation award tries to recognize their work. The first finalist that I have in this category is David Liu, and he is an intern at Yahoo. Now, it's been an interesting year at Yahoo. We often talk about Yahoo is the largest employer here in the research park. So you are one of many very brilliant people and obviously went above and beyond to be able to be recognized for this award. He is an undergraduate student in computer science. And Dale Nussel is his manager. Do we have Dale today to tell you more about the work of David? Sorry, I think my manager's in a conflicting meeting, so I don't think he can make it. Okay, David, I'm going to have you speak a little bit about your experience then, but I will say some words from Dale on his behalf, who is a senior director at Yahoo. He said that David has a strong work ethic. He's dedicated his time towards not only learning the intern project itself, but ramping up to learn new terminologies and ask for clarification. He strives to complete the back end, part one of a software project. Um, and that is deployable and seeks opportunities to improve his code quality. David has produced the backend code for a new application that has required many aspects of functionality. He started out work on the front end or visual display for the new application to make it more user friendly. The application was used in the recent 2022 budget planning and performed better than expected. He impressed the entire team and how he was dedicated to achieving milestone after milestone marching through the project. David has a wonderful personality and a positive outlook. He strives for high quality in his work and relishes a, a challenge. I'm proud to advocate for him to receive this award. So those are some words, kind words from Dale for you, David. David, do you wanna say a little comment about your work at Yahoo before I move on? Since you're here. Great. Um, I wanted to thank everyone, my manager, my mentor for really helping me through summer. I've definitely learned way more than I expected. You know, working from home has definitely changed how my perspective has been for this internship, but I had my doubts at first, but they were all gone the second I got to know everyone. My work environment is great. Everything I'm doing is really meaningful, and I really feel like I'm having some kind of impact into Yahoo, and I really can hope to continue working with my team in the future. Awesome. Well, thank you, David. Um, I'm going to mention mentioned that it's unusual for a, an undergraduate student to get an internship at Yahoo. So I think that you must have been pretty exceptional for that to even occur. Um, the next student that I would like to announce as a finalist is Arif Shridraj, and he is an EarthSense data science intern. He's an undergraduate in mechanical engineering, and I see Garesh on the phone. So hopefully Garesh can tell us more about him and his work within EarthSense, which has an awful lot of robots inside its, its lab right now. So things are busy in agriculture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you can see, but uh, yeah, here we are in EarthSense. So we're really uh, happy and proud to have Arif be nominated. Uh, so Arif joined us, I think four months ago, and it's just been a crazy fast ride with him. He's really elevated a number of different uh, parts of the company. So he was uh, tasked with uh, kind of reviving one of our algorithms that wasn't performing to spec. Um, and not only did he revive it, he showed that it beat the competition uh, by a meaningful way. So that was pretty cool that he kind of uh, did all of the work, uh, including uh, figuring out the, you know, the papers and the literature to read and then going through them, figuring out what was missing in our existing algorithms and implementing them. He worked with others. He brought the full-time people in to help him do that. Uh, and then uh, he implemented it and, and it's been working and it's been really implemented and, and is a key part of our product. So we're really uh, happy and proud that Arf's nominated and we're hoping that uh, he'll stick around for longer after he's uh, done with his internship. Awesome. Well, thanks Garesh for telling us more about him. And next, as we have a full category here, we have Aman Kinvasaru, Kinvasara, 
sorry if I said that wrong, AARP Strategic Integration and Talent Intern, undergraduate in computer engineering. See if we see Aman waving his hand. And there he is. And his manager um, to say a little bit more about him. Binit? Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, uh, I, yeah, I, at AARP, we do a lot of uh, prototyping work, which is relevant to AARP's mission of enriching uh, life of 50 plus people. And uh, one of the uh, the prototypes that we wanted to establish was an, uh, a virtual reality event experience for our members, uh, which is about a 37 million strong members for uh, in this times of uh, virtual events and, and uh, hybrid events. And uh, Aman basically helped us uh, prototype, uh, ideate, uh, iterate, and he showed a lot of bias for action, where uh, even in the, uh, with ambiguous requirements, he was able to establish a path forward and, and kept moving forward till we had a prototype of an event experience in, in virtual reality, which we could share with our event management team and uh, collect some really meaningful feedback. So in, in this internship, Aman has definitely uh, demonstrated great skills in terms of uh, uh, working with the business, uh, coming up with technical solutions which are relevant, and uh, be in the design thinking phase where you ideate, prototype, uh, develop, test, and, and keep iterating on those concepts. So. Uh, great work Aman here and, and we really enjoyed working with him and again I, I cannot reiterate the fact but his bias for action definitely helped us uh, make things move in the right direction and, and helped us implement something in this short span of uh, 13 weeks. Thank you. Thank you to Aman and I like bias to action. I might use that one. Okay. Last but not least, we have one more finalist in this category, and it's Gautam Krishnan from Corteva in the research park. He is a contracted student researcher working. Corteva is one of the largest ag companies, and they maybe will tell you a little bit more if you're not familiar with the company. Graduate in theoretical and applied mathematics, oh, mechanics, applied mechanics here at the University of Illinois, I believe. Can we have Steve Cryer tell you a little bit more about his work? Uh, I don't think Steve made it. So, okay. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm gonna, I will read about you a little bit of what he wrote about you then, and then sure. I'll come back to you to get to say a few words, Doug. Okay. So Steve said the following about his work. He is, is more than diligent in completing his work, setting up ambitious weekly objectives and executing on them. He has taken real ownership of the project, developing the model in the direction he sees as most, most impactful. I have tried to challenge him to keep the focus on the end deliverable before we had unknowingly only been modeling a relatively small fraction of the droplets which form strictly due to the breakup mechanism. Gautam's additions and revisions change this, improving the quality of the predictions we can make. He has contributed further by performing a robustness study to determine which of the hyperparameters latent in the model most strongly affect the predictions so that we can be sensitive to points of error. Galvum has made substantial progress to the current state of the art, and I hope this award will, award will recognize him for those contributions. So that's a little bit about what your manager had to say about you. Can you tell him a little bit more about your experience working at Corteva? Yeah, um, so I just started working with Corteva this summer um, and uh, I've taken on a project with them, which is to do with uh, predicting how particular agricultural sprays break up. and. Uh, much of my experiences in mathematical modeling, so I've had a lot of fun in uh, trying to put that in, into action here on a, on a problem that actually um, means a lot to the company and to the industry in that um, they've, they've, they've been having this um, uh, project or idea going on for almost a decade you now, and uh, it's, it's, it's really great to be able to contribute to it. Awesome. Okay, those are our four finalists in the category of best technical innovation and tough competition in this award as well. And the winner for the best technical innovation is Arif. And I think Arif is here mm. from Earth Yay. Yay, Garash is happy. <laughs> Hi guys. Right, Arif, I see you. Yeah, hi. Um, 
Yeah, so would you like me to say a few words? Yeah. Um, We'd love to hear about your experience at EarthSense and your internship. Yeah, um, so I was freshly graduated and 2020 was a hard year. So I was pretty nervous coming in and um, I was unsure when I would be able to uh, contribute. But luckily the people there, um, they were very open and welcoming to questions. And I had a lot of them because, um, yeah. And uh, because I got so many like thoughtful responses and it was so easy to collaborate with other people, it just helped me um, feel like I was a part of the team and I felt comfortable there. So I could really like think properly and I felt valued at work because of that as well. Um, I get to learn and implement a lot every day and it's also for a good cause. So. I'm pretty happy with my internship. And finally, I'm feeling very grateful because the people at EarthSense who have worked for a while decided to nominate me in the first place. So thank you for that.